Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this video, you know, I might even break it up into two parts, or is mainly for a plasma cutter. Uh, I'm doing it for a man that has a CNC plasma cutting. He sent me this file, and it's all individual pieces. And he's going to stand it off something like a back sheet of metal, steel, and offset it or attach it to this and have a uh, well, you'll see in just a second uh, what it would look like. But anyway, he was questioning how, how he could make a, a two inch or a one inch uh, offset where he could have, so this would be his back plate to, you know, attach these pieces. But each one of these is individual. So all you have to do, and, and I'm going to just select them all, and I'm going to go up to group, and I'm going to group them together. And then I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to contour and our outlines are black. So we want our new contour to be red. So we be able to tell it and I'm going to go two inches. I tried one inch and it just really didn't work. He said one or two. Let's just see what one looks like. And it's got too many inner facets and it might work and he might actually sit in the two inch file. Um, and you could take out these parts so that I take it back it might work but then you're getting into some problems up here and you could adjust that but I think two inches especially this is a really big file I mean I think the it's 68 inches I I'm not sure how he's even going to cut it out uh, so let's go two inches and I'm going to the outside and I just hit apply and then our, there's our contour now it's got a few hiccups but for the most part it's pretty good it didn't go down in here and then just go to range un break contour apart now this is what you want to do when you're playing around you want to set your nudge factor see that we got 73 inches so we want to move it out 75 inches and uh, I still don't really know why it's so big. So then you could get rid of these hiccups. Take your shape tool and just lasso them. Got just a few hiccups. And then I, after I sent him the file, I noticed there's one right here. But that's not terrible. And it does contour the shape of his item and, and just kind of let you see what it would look like. Uh, that's, that's what he's trying to get to. That's going to be his backdrop. The black will be his backdrop. Anyway, but for a, so laser cutters, y'all can stop watching. That's all you're going to probably learn. Because the in, in laser, laser engraving and cutting, these nodes don't really, doesn't really matter. They're there and they don't matter. So if you want to watch the second video, if you're a plasma cutter, how to get rid of these nodes. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.